Hello again, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. Youngstown City Council's Community Planning and Economic Development Committee this evening plotted the path for renovation and future sale of the city-owned 20 Federal Place downtown. Now this is the historic Strauss's building built in 1926. The committee will send a council an ordinance extending a memorandum of understanding through the end of the year to the Desmond Group of Pittsburgh to continue working on the project. It urged the administration of Mayor Tito Brown to pursue a lease with the newly formed 20 Federal Place LLC so that additional grants and tax credits can be pursued. And it requested the administration work to find new space to house the 20 or so businesses recently told to vacate the building. There was some serious debate, and it's our top story tonight at 10. Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown this afternoon told City Council he supports the renovation and sale of 20 Federal Place. This may be one of those out of the park home runs that we hit. But the mayor is concerned about agreeing to a lease with the newly formed 20 Federal Place LLC that doesn't protect the city's interest. I have public funds that's been allocated to the city of Youngstown and as mayor my job is to make sure legally that we have an out clause that works for us. Another issue, the lease, by law, must be for at least 39 years. Because the city owns the property, you have to have a long-term lease to be able to qualify for the tax credit. Jim Ambrose represented Pittsburgh's Desmond Group and the newly formed 20 Federal Place LLC, the latter of which was needed to pursue the tax credits and grants. We are completely open and amenable to whatever terms the city of Youngstown would want. We just have to know what those are. Assistant Law Director Lou Diapolito agreed. We're thrilled to meet with Mr. Ambrose and their team. Let's sit down and let's see what we can work on. Jim Ambrose also announced that the Philadelphia-based National Real Estate Development Company has agreed that if all the tax credits and grants are awarded, National Real Estate will invest $26 million into the project and own the building when it's complete. To that, Councilwoman Lord McNally said, I think that's a great deal. Councilman Julius Oliver had issues with letters sent yesterday to the tenants of 20 Federal Place, giving them 60 days to vacate. Oliver says that wasn't the plan. We were supposed to meet with a group in the morning. We were supposed to meet in a group with another group in the evening and go over how we were going to go about emptying out the building. Finance Director Kyle Mizek says when Youngstown was awarded a $6.9 million state brownfield grant, it put the city on a strict timetable to spend the money. And if we don't spend those funds, we could see this entire project potentially unravel. Now, Kyle Mizek did add that the city administration does understand the plight of the businesses that needed to vacate 20 Federal Place, and the administration will do its best to get them relocated 